Chattanooga police are still looking for the man seen in video. We first showed to you, this to you last week. A woman and her son were followed by a man who can be heard yelling threats at them. Liam Collins tells us what police say we should all do if we find ourselves in a similar situation. When she saw this man following closely behind her, she says she was terrified, but police say she actually handled it pretty well and was lucky no one got hurt. You ever cut me off again, I'll beat the out of you. You know what you did. This is the moment when a woman from Red Bank says she feared for her life. We've granted an anonymous interview for that reason. She tells Local 3 News this man originally approached her on an off ramp after he says she cut him off on the highway. She says he hit her window, gestured he would shoot her, and continued to follow them. She drove to a friend's house where what happened next was caught on camera. Now I don't know where you live, you stupid. Chattanooga police confirmed they are looking into the video and are actively trying to identify the man in it. She and her son, who was in the car, spoke to us on Friday, where she told us she wants to press charges. I'm just afraid that he would come back. I was in shock, so I didn't know what to think after that. Tell your mama to quit cutting people off. Certainly very uh, alarming. Walker County Sheriff Steve Wilson says the woman handled the situation pretty well. He says anyone who finds themselves in a similar situation should not engage with anyone showing road rage. Call 911 and drive somewhere they feel comfortable. It's when we see one party engage in the other party is when normally serious injury or death occurs. <coughs> In the video, the man can be seen ripping the handle off the car, and he's heard threatening sexual assault. And thankfully, the friend had excellent uh, sur surveillance equipment uh, that's going to enhance uh, and help law enforcement catch this person. If you recognize the man in that video, you're asked to call the Chattanooga Police Department, and you can find the number for that inside the Local 3 News app. Reporting in Chattanooga, Liam Collins, Local 3 News.